Hello Chief Skaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Chief Skates Club where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome and if it's not, welcome back. Today it's Friday the 2nd of September and I'm in the kitchen and to celebrate shelf timber I'm going to make or adapt one of my favorite recipes to use the things that are on our shelf. Now this recipe I've been making for about 25 years. It was given to me by a lovely friend, um, Pamela, years and years and years ago. She used to make it in the microwave. I'm not a fan of microwave cakes and biscuits and puddings and things, although chocolate self-sourcing pudding in the microwave is pretty good. So I adapted it over the years to bake in the oven. And that's what I'm going to show you today with a couple of other switches to um, fit with shelf timber. So the original recipe was sour cream apple slice. Today we're making sour cream banana and apple slice. Now the original recipe called for um, a plain cake mix. I don't have a plain cake mix. I don't often have cake mixes, but I do happen to have this one, this banana cake mix, courtesy of Hannah. So that's what we will use. And I'm using coconut oil instead of the butter. Now don't worry about the recipe. I will put a link to it underneath me when I'm finished. I'm using coconut oil because that's what I have. I want to keep the butter for sandwiches and bread rolls and things like that. So 125 grams of melted coconut oil slash butter into a bowl with oops, with a cake mix. Now this is a banana cake. What can I say? It's what was on the shelf. Over the years, I've changed it a bit so that I don't use packet cake mixes. I just make the base with flour, sugar, a little bit of coconut sometimes, depending on my mood, and of course melted butter. It's pretty much just a basic biscuit base that I use. It works. Okay, so I need to tip you down because I'm doing this and you can't see what I'm doing. Here we go. There we go. So I've put the cake mix into a bowl with coconut oil. Now all we do is press it into a slice tin. Now I've lined the slice tin. I only had round cake liners. So that's what it got to be. And I have sprayed the cake liner because I haven't been out to the shed to get more uh, baking paper. So I'm using these cake liners, cake tin liners. They work really well. Got them at the $2 shop. First lot I found were at Cheapers Chips. Now our local $2 shop has them. And I'm pushing the base. My hands are clean, folks. Don't panic. Pushing the base into the tin. Spreading it out so that it will be reasonably even. I'll roll it in a minute with a little glass that I have. Um, my hands down to cool pegs. Working to hold it in place, just even it out a bit. So, there we go. All right, that's that part done. Easy. Next is the topping, which is. A big tin of pineapple, 200 mils of sour cream, it's a bit more than 200 in there, I just scraped out the jar, 
and an egg. Now, I'm going to crack the egg into this glass just to make sure. Because I very rarely crack eggs into what I'm making. Just to make sure that they are okay and that's okay. So it can go into there. And I'm going to mix that in just with a fork. Because I'm going to combine the apple into this mix too. Okay, now I need to open. Open, open, open the apple. Um, if I don't have apples from our tree, stewed apples from our tree in the pantry, I try to buy them by the case from SPC or Food Factory Sales, which is an SPC outlet, if I can. Did that work? Yes. When they're on sale, they're reasonably inexpensive. Okay. Oh, smells good. So just stir that through. This is really simple. And of course, if you cook it in the microwave, it only takes about eight minutes to cook. This is going into a preheated 180 degree oven. Preheat, folks, it's baking. You've got rising agents and all sorts of things happening here. It needs, the oven needs to be preheated. I know that lots of you don't like preheating. It's a waste of power, yada, yada, yada. It's a little bit of power that's used in the heating is nothing compared to, take that peg off, um, the cost of the ingredients if you waste them because your recipe doesn't work. So... Into my slice tin. Uh, do I want to put cinnamon on the top? What do you think? When I put cinnamon on the top, what have I got in the spice cupboard? Let me see. Nutmeg. Cinnamon. Let's just sprinkle of cinnamon over the top. Hmm. Okay. This is going to get a tin of pine, a pie apple and a, whoops, that's a bit heavy handed, um, packet cake mix off the pantry shelf and give us desserts for the weekend. So that's not too bad an idea. i pop my baking spices back. Okay. Uh, this now goes into the oven for about 30 minutes. So there it is. Into the oven it goes. Set the timer so I don't forget it. And I'll be back in about half an hour when it's done. If that works for you guys. Okay, 30 minutes was perfect. I'm just going to zoom you down so that you can see what it's all like. Let me bring it over a bit for you. Here we go. Just let me just wincy bit. Oh, it is so, so good. Perfect. Now, let it cool in the tin. You can have it warm, you can have it cold, but let it cool in the tin, which is why you line it with baking paper and make sure it's well greased so that you can get the paper off and get it out of the tin when it's cool. It's set perfectly. Look, I don't know, the custard is set beautifully it smells divine 
that's it. Now, I used banana cake and apples. You can use plain cake mix if you want to with peaches, apricots, pears, fruit salad, two fruits. My favourite is plums, preserved plums over it. Just delicious. All sorts of things. Let your imagination run wild with the fruit that you use. But I'm pretty happy with it for a shelf timber. Use it up. Quick and easy dessert. I'm really pleased. I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Now, before we go, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, that's really good. Please remember to like, subscribe, and let me tip you up so you can see me. Like, subscribe, and share. Because when you share the videos, I'm just checking my notes, make sure you can see me. Um, when you share the videos, makes them easier to find. And if they're easier to find, it means people that are looking for ways to cut their living expenses, to way, for ways to live below their means can find us. And we can tell them and we can let them know that it is perfectly okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And it can be done even in 2022. Now, if you've got questions, into the comments below they go. And... If you could leave a little, start it with um, apple cake so that I know that you made it to the end of the video. That is really helping if you can do that in the comments. It just lets me know how many people actually watch all the way to the end so I can plan. So I can figure out which videos are too long, which videos are too short, what works best for you guys. Alrighty, have a great weekend everyone. And happy cheap skating. I'll be back next Friday with another Shelf Timber recipe.